company section, there'll be a company calendar which will collect all the dates, events, and basically everything from all project calendars. In the current grid view, we'll be able to see some calendar categories. And down below, we'll have all the projects in the company. If we click on one, it'll expand to show all the different production stages. And below, we'll see the resource planning as well. And up here is a filter function. If you have several projects as a company and want to filter out or only highlight certain projects in the calendar, we could use the two features to do that using the drop-down menu. And the same goes for filtering resources from all our projects. With the grid view, we'll be able to make edits, which means that we can select the base elements we want to display on the grid. Right now we have events, production, and resources, but we can hide that if we want to. And also, if we want to reorder them, this can be done just by dragging and dropping. The same can be done for calendar categories, so we can show them and move them around as well. Back in the grid, we'll be able to see the category events displayed for the month. So here we'll see tasks, as well as some shooting days and meetings like this one. Clicking here will open up the page in the project where the event was created. In the tabs, we have different viewing options like month, week, day, and lists. The month view will give us the same functions as the project calendar, so we can search and filter per project as well. And because this view has a lot going on, we can deselect certain categories from being displayed on the calendar like so. Next, we can subscribe to different calendars, meaning all the filters we've applied to the calendar will appear when you subscribe. And lastly, we'll have different PDF export options to choose from. We can always create events directly from within the company calendar, like a gathering for the whole company. And we just need to input additional details like locations and create. Lastly, we have the calendar categories. Company calendar categories are universal and available for all projects. However, they can only be changed in the company view. Whereas, project calendar categories are the ones created within individual projects. So in here, we'll see tags for all the projects that are currently being used in. And if we click on location scouting, we'll end up on the specific projects calendar category section. And that was a look at the company calendar. Stay tuned for more videos on specific Yamdu features. Hey!